Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am doing it again today. Going back to the well one more time. I'm going to fish a deep point here that has produced some really big fish for me on some recent trips. I got what I think is my biggest flathead of the year and my biggest blue cat of the year all within this last week. So I said, you know what? There's some big fish in there. There ain't many fish. I'm not getting a lot of bites here, but the ones I'm getting are really good quality. So back out here this afternoon, going to fish until dark. So I got about three and a half, four hours of daylight left. And my plan is to fish just a little past dark to see if we get some, some fish activity right after the sun goes down. But today, going to be offering them a variety. These fish are in luck today. I'm going to give them some cut bait options with some skipjack. And then in my bucket here, I got a, a big crappie in there, about 12 inches. I got a yellow bass he's struggling right there but some of his other friends are down there i got some bluegill so whether they want a live bait a cut bait it don't matter i got them covered today so let's get them on there let's drop them down depth is going to be about 33 feet with our current water level here we're drawing down for winter drawdown so at the end of this point here about 33 feet deep and my baits are going to be right there on the tip of it so as fish out here in the main channel as they come up on this point to feed or to try to work back into this creek here they're going to be my baits going to be the first thing they run into so let's get them on there come with me today let's catch some fish right there is our crappie that is the only crappie i have with me he's probably 12 inches there that is a big bait, so whatever fish wants him, better have him a big appetite. Let's drop him down there. I'm going to send him straight down on the end of this point. Raise him up, so at 33 feet deep, he's probably going to be down there about 30 to 32 feet deep. Got that on my Stinger Fly rig. That's a Catfish Sumo Bait Stalker Fly that's on the the hook just a few inches below him so he's going to be wiggling around there and having that little fly just dangling under there as he kicks and moves that fly is going to be under him so i got a big bait and a small bait on the same rig next bait going down is the live yellow bass same thing i've got the bait stalker fly there under him we're going to have the live baits on my two back rods i'll put the cut bait on my front tube and then I'm gonna have a, another rod under a balloon. I'm gonna put a live bait about six foot deep and have it cast out behind us. Just in case there's any fish up higher in the water column. So here goes this alive bluegill out. I've got him just hooked through the back on my leader. You can maybe see up top there, I got a, just a little party balloon tied on so that he's gonna be suspended five, six feet there under me. And I'm gonna give him a toss just right here behind me kind of get him out of the way of my other lines and he can swim around back there and do his thing and again any fish that just happened to work up here higher in the water column there's a live bait there struggling for him so don't expect anything to hit that i've i've run that rig on a few recent trips this time of year i just i don't expect it to get hit but i was thinking about it uh, a few days ago before i started bringing it with me i'm like you know a rig like this the bait's cast behind me. It's not getting in the way of anything else I'm doing. Why not throw it out there? I got nothing to lose. If something hits it, great. If not, well, it's not a big deal. So anyway, gonna be running that rig, just kind of experimental type thing. Probably the next few months, we'll just keep doing it and uh, just see what happens with it. Again, any fish I get on it is just a bonus. Right here is the money maker. That's a skipjack. I'm gonna do a head on one rod and I'm gonna have a smaller chunk on the other so I'm kind of going big baits today I've got those two larger live baits we'll have that small chunk on there and then the big head so we'll put those two on the front two rods we'll have our baits out we'll be set look right here look right here there it goes man there it goes there goes the crappie live crappie just got eaten live crappie just got eaten man he's running a little bit too He's taking some drag. I'm just going to let him. I hope he got the bait good. I hope he got it good. Sometimes those big baits don't, don't always get the, the hook right, but it sure feels solid. It feels solid right now, man. Oh, that's exciting, y'all. Anytime a big bait like that goes down. But there's been so many big fish that I've caught on this point lately. 
I just wanted to have a big bait option out there today, big live bait. I stopped and got me a few on the way. I still don't really know what this fish is. It could be anything. It could be a blue, it could be a flathead. I don't think it's a striper. It hasn't made, it hasn't made that violent hard run. So I think it's probably a blue or flat. Oh man, he's strong though. He's strong. I'm just gonna take my time with him. Let him do his thing. <laughs> I was just sitting here. All of a sudden I feel the kayak just, <laughs> that's the best feeling in the world. Oh man, he's gonna pull a little more drag, ain't he? He still ain't done. I just wanna get a look at this thing. I just wanna see what he is. I wish I had more crappie. I only caught that one. I do have some more yellow bass and some bluegill. Look at him go. He's just still taking some drag, man. Goodness. This is solid, man. This is a good fish. I'm just hanging on. I think it's probably a flathead. I have no idea, though. We're going to find out. I've caught a mix lately here. I've caught blues and flatheads here. Again, not many, but but I've caught them both here. Oh, there he goes again. Oh, man. He just, every time I make a little ground on him, he pulls off some more drag. Come on up here, fish. Man, oh man, I just want to get a look at him. You know, I come out here today, I thought, you know, this may be a situation I get one bite this afternoon. <laughs> but if I do, it's liable to be a monster and I've hooked him. I don't know if I can land him, but I've hooked him. He just keeps taking line. He just keep, we're this far into the fight, he keeps taking line. Oh man. <laughs> I've said it so many times in other videos, y'all, as this fish just peels off more line, you put your time in on good structure. It's a matter of time. My buddy Dewey, one of the best fishermen I know here, local to me, uh, yeah, he says it's like hunting. You know, when you're going after big catfish, it's like going after going deer hunting for a big buck you know you're putting your time in a tree stand you, you've set up in an area where some deer's going to move through you've got your your window there to take your shot you just need the deer to walk through it same thing with catfishing like this you just you put your time in you set up on a spot where fish are going to move through and you just you just wait on your chance Somehow or another, I have fought this fish this long. He has made all these runs. And I don't think he's in. Well, he may have just jinxed it. I think he just gotten out of the front line up there. What I was going to say is like he's just kept going that way and down, not around toward all my other lines. Normally you get a fight like this, they end up in every deck on line. Oh, come on, fish. Come up here. I just want to just want to see the daggone thing. Let me just get a glimpse of him. I'm seeing the bubbles over there. We got to be getting close. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm seeing some bubbles coming up. We got to be getting close now. We should be just in the, the final few feet of it here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice blue. Man, y'all. That's a nice blue right there. But you ain't gonna believe. I mean, he's nice. I thought he was way bigger than that, though. What an incredibly strong fish for his size. Man. <laughs> he's a dang nice fish. But I thought he was twice that size. He's fought like it. He's got my other line there with the stinger. Okay, I just... Oh, oh gosh, he just put that, whoo, I got lucky. He just put that hook point right in my finger, man. Heck, I ain't even bleeding. 
I got lucky right there, man. If he had surged with that hook point right in my finger, I'd have been in trouble. Now I'm bleeding a little bit. Thankfully, it didn't get down past the barb. Oh, man, that's a nice fish. Come on in here. Come on in here before you cause any more damage, fish. Uh -huh. Oh, buddy. That's a golly whopper. I swear, though, I thought he was twice as big. Oh, man. Nice. Okay, y'all, let's hold it up. Look at that thing. <laughs> this spot just keeps producing big fish. Whoo. <laughs> this thing. Oh, I swear I thought he was so much bigger. I mean, he's a he's a golly whopper size, but the way he fought. Oh. <laughs> I got blood coming out my finger from that hook. I got so lucky with that. I thought that thing was in there deeper than it was. That could have been real bad. I got snot hanging out my nose. This fish has got a belly full of live crappie. <sighs> Today's a good day, y'all. <laughs> All right. Let's let him go. We'll see you, blue cat. Goodbye, buddy. Hey, gone. That's a bloody finger. Fist pump right there, man. <laughs> that was about a 12 inch live crappie. Gobbled up, man. I wish I'd have got me some more. I just, I caught that one. That was all I got. And I didn't want to spend any more time. I'd been, I'd been ultralight fishing there. I don't know, 35, 45 minutes, something like that. But, uh, man, <laughs> my day's made y'all. What are you thinking y'all? Live yellow bass or live bluegill? I'm thinking yellow bass. We got another live yellow bass on that other rod, but I got more confidence in this yellow bass than I do a live bluegill. So we're gonna go with it. There he is, that is a chunky yellow bass, probably in that, I don't know, eight to 10 inch range in there so let's send him down see what he can do for us cut bait cut bait's going down okay that's another one that's fighting that's another one's pulling some drag right there okay let's do it y'all round two fish number two that's in here man he's got some fight in him too he don't feel quite as big as the first one but he's strong i'll tell you that this one ate my smallest bait i had that that smaller chunk of skipjack i wanted just variety you know tried to offer these fish some options both cut and live and my two live baits on are you know pretty good size especially when i had that crappie there to start and the other yellow bass and my skipjack head of course is a, is a just a naturally big bait so I wanted to have just a smaller chunk just to offer a different size option, different different style of bait. And this fish said, he said he'll take it. Yeah, that's another good fish. A little bit smaller than the last, but a dang good fish nonetheless. Well, let's see if I can land this one without getting another hook in the finger. I'll tell you what, y'all, my finger's gonna be sore. It's finally quit bleeding now. Now it's gonna be sore tomorrow. Come here, come here. Well, that, that, hey, 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 enough of that. Get on in here, behave. Hold yourself up there, fish. That's another solid fun sizer right there. That's a solid fish and just a few minutes after that other big one there. So maybe we got a little activity window happening here and I'm in the right place. It's the right time to take advantage. What do you think, fish? Why'd you choose that bait over the others? They said it was just is it gonna hit the spot, you know. That's what he wanted. See ya. Hey gone too. Alright, y'all. Hey, today was already a good day. It just got better.
Well, let's get us another chunk of skipjack here. I'm going to do the same thing with this bait that I did with the other. I'm just going to cut that gut pocket out. Now I'm going to take my shears here and I'm going to trim this fin off. So now we just got a, that's a thick chunk, but a smaller profile bait right there along the spinal cord. You got all that blood right there. That puts off a lot of scent, a lot of blood in the water. There it is. And down it goes. Where it stops, at the river bottom. <laughs> right here. Look right here. Live yellow bass. Oh yeah, we're hooked up. Another live bait goes down. Another live bait goes down, man. It's exciting when those big live baits go down. Those are some big yellow bass, too. I was excited to catch those. They were a lot of fun on the ultralight. This is another one. I'm just sitting there just playing some Candy Crush, and all of a sudden, I feel the kayak start to start to dip a little bit. I tell you, it's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> Nothing gets me more excited than feeling that leaning feeling and looking over and seeing a rod go down. Oh, he's going to pull some drag, too. It's another strong one right here. Goodness, man. These fish today, man, they are fighting hard. All of them have had a, a bad attitude out here today. Let's get him up here. Is that a flathead? I think this one's a flathead, y'all. I got a brief glimpse of him before he shot back down. Let's get him back up here again. That's a nice flathead if it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice flathead. He's still got the yellow bass there in his mouth. Let me get him over here. Come over here, flathead. Show off that yellow bass you just ate. You proud of that thing? <laughs> He's proud of it. <laughs> no, flathead. You come here now. You done. Whether you want to be or not. Come on up in here now. That's a nice one, y'all. Nice flathead. He's give us the yellow bass back. I think he's killed it. But he's give it back. Well, folks, our little yellow bass has seen better days. He's still wiggling, though. This flathead here just gobbled him up. Nice. Boy, he's still wound, ain't he? He's still wound up. <laughs> oh, I love it. I was hoping to bust a flathead today, and by gosh, it just happened. I knew I'd have a chance of flathead, blue. Well, I just had this gut feeling that, you know, a couple days post front here, we had some rain two days ago. Yesterday was a pretty cold day, and then today, you know, second day post front, I thought they may be a little bit active today. Well, they are. <laughs> this one is anyway. All right, let's let it go. Say bye-bye, flathead. Next time, buddy. Next time. Boy, he just sat there, ain't he? Now he's gonna take off. Splashing the camera on the way. Look at you, you got water all over you. I got water and slime on me. You got water all over you. <laughs> it's still fist pump worthy, man. Awesome time. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take our little yellow bass here. And he's going to end up being, he's going to go in the cooler. He's going to be cut bait for us. So we're going to switch him out. Because I got one more yellow bass down here in my bucket. Now, if we run out of yellow bass, I got three bluegill in there, it looks like. Look at him trying to, look at him trying to spike me there with them fins. These things... Buddy, they are a prickly fish. Between the dorsal fin, the gill plates, the pectoral fins, you ain't careful with them. They'll stick you, buddy. That in there's good and lively. He's going down. So that's two to one for the live bait. Both of the biggest fish have come on live bait now. So I'll go some more for them if they want them. Got about an hour and a half or so of daylight left, so... Who knows what's going to happen? Right here, man. That yellow bass, 
I just dropped him down. Surely that's not him taking that rod tip over that hard. Surely not. Well, maybe so. No, no way. No way, that's a fish. I didn't think that little yellow bass could take this rod's rod tip over that far. We got something on. I don't think this is going to be a very big fish, but you all saw the size of that bait. Look right here. This little blue cat, he ate the stinger fly under the live bait. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't knock the live bait off. I'm here, blue cat. He got that stinger fly right in the jaw, didn't he? Thankfully, though, our baits, our live bait's still on there, so we're going to send him right back down. So that's two on the live bait, one on the cut bait, and one on the fly now. I'll take it, man. That's why I got them flies on. All them extra bites like that, I want every single one of them. Y'all, nothing like a surprise pop-up rain shower. I knew we were supposed to get some more rain. It was supposedly going to come in after midnight. I guess part of it's here now. I'm on a good bite, though. I'm not leaving. So unless I'm just a monsoon happens, I'm going to ride it out out here. I'm going to hunker down under my jacket. Didn't bring an umbrella because I didn't think I was going to need it. So in hindsight, should have packed that. But nevertheless, we're getting some fish out here. Rain sleet snow it ain't gonna matter today because i'm after these fish don't look now but that yellow bass is getting awful lively he's swimming from something buddy he's trying to run from something oh my rod tip it still ain't accurate i'm gonna pick up i wonder if it's not another something is on there i wonder if it's not another situation where i've got a fish on the fly because it don't feel it's definitely a fish. Yeah. I well, I don't know what's going on here. He's all he's all lassoed around my live bait and the leader. Let's see where this fly's at. Okay, he just he just unlassoed himself. Yeah, he ate that fly. He got it. Here's another one. Got drawed in by that live bait kicking around and got him a fly and he won't, he don't want to open that mouth for nothing, does he? There you go. Say hi and bye to the, to the audience there, fish. Get out of here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, live bait, live bait's still alive there. So we're going to drop it back down. Old stinger fly strikes again. That's another extra bite. That fish right there, there's no way he could have ate that live bait. It's just, that bait's too big for him. Heck, a bait's about as big as he was. Here we go. Here we go. I just got the light on. This bait's going down. That's my, that's my chunk right there. Oh, boy. Let me back off that drag a little bit. Man, he's fighting hard, too. It's just... The sun's down. It's just started to get dark here. I was going to give it another 15, 20 minutes. Just see what happens. Right here at this kind of, I call it the witching hour. Dark 30. And sure as the world, rod goes down. Yeah, y'all. It's been a good day. I've got more bites today than any of my other recent trips out here. So, uh, been pretty active had good quality out here today oh yeah this is a blue that's another that's another fun size blue right there i'll take it man what do you think about it blue cat you ready to come on in come on in why don't you i think he got in one of my back lines back there y'all this little devil hold yourself up there fish nice Another fun size, man. With the exception of those two dinks that ate the fly on my live bait rig, it's been it's been good quality out here today. This thing, I can feel the energy brewing up in it. It's about to flop on me. Let me get him out of here. 
I ain't trying to get smacked in the face with no catfish tail <laughs> here tonight. But uh, yeah, y'all, I think uh, think I'm getting ready to wrap up the day. I am going to give it another 15, 20 minutes here, just see if we get some more fish moving. But uh, probably what I'll do is just call this the end of the video, unless something else happens. If it does, you get a bonus fish. If not, well. I guess I'll be seeing you in the next one, but either way, it's been a fun day from the ultralight fishing I done before I got out here. I got them big yellow bass and the crappie, well, tons of bluegill. That was a fun time. And then come out here, had an active catfish bite, big blues, flatheads. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a good day. It's a real good day. So I've had fun making the video. I hope you had fun watching the video. Let's do it again soon.